Typhoon Koina wreaked havoc in Taiwan, resulting in one fatality and hundreds of injuries before setting its sights on southern China and Hong Kong. This fierce storm brought torrential rain and record-setting winds to southern and central Taiwan, resulting in fallen trees and significant damage to buildings. The tragedy was underscored when an 84-year-old woman in Taichung City lost her life to flying glass. Additionally, the aftermath saw around 400 individuals injured throughout Taiwan, as reported by the nation's fire department. By Friday, nearly 390,000 households were still without power. A particularly noteworthy occurrence was at a weather station on Orchid Island, an outlying part of Taiwan. This station recorded a staggering wind gust of 342.7 km per hour, 212.9 miles per hour, on Wednesday evening. However, the device used to measure this wind speed broke shortly after this reading. Orchid Island bore the brunt of Koinu's wrath, although, fortunately, no injuries were reported. The damage was extensive with over 70 boats capsized or sunk in the harbor, two schools sustaining severe damage, and a total power outage caused by the typhoon. In a response to restore power, an Air Force helicopter dispatched engineers to the island on Friday. Taiwan is no stranger to such meteorological events, enduring numerous tropical storms between May and November annually. Just a month prior to Koinu, Typhoon Haiku made landfall, marking the island's first direct hit in four years. This forced the evacuation of almost 8,000 residents. By Friday morning, Typhoon Koinu, which translates to puppy in Japanese, was approximately 370 kilometers, 230 miles, from Hong Kong and traveling at a speed of around 10 kilometers, 6 miles per hour, as reported by the Hong Kong Observatory. It's worth noting that Hong Kong had recently experienced its most substantial rainfall in over 140 years, leading to the deaths of at least two individuals and causing considerable flooding. As Koinu progressed westward across the South China Sea, it began to lose strength, heading towards China's Guangdong province. Predictions indicated its potential transformation into a tropical storm by Saturday morning, shifting southwest and traveling parallel to China's southeastern coast on Sunday. This movement is anticipated to bring considerable rainfall to the coastlines of Guangdong and the neighboring Fujian province in the forthcoming days, with possible accumulations of up to 300 millimeters. see it see the Heavenly Father visiting this planet man but the scripture say this is going to happen all praise see how about shimmy I was shy by shimmer cockadash shot a warm love a car I'm sure ya Sharala the boy to the head apostles and elders of great millstone shot a warm to the whole for Latin and the elect lady <coughs> Isaiah 29 and 6. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. Isaiah 28 and 2. Behold, the Lord Yahweh have a mighty and strong one, which as a tempest of hell and a destroying storm, as a flood of mighty waters overflowing, shall cast down the earth with the hand. Call hello, Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai, man. The Lord is not playing. He is visiting the earth, as he said in the scriptures, 
that he made through his right arm, Yahweh Shai. All power and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> and there's going to be more of this going on before the return of our Lord. More famine, more pestilence, more violence, more earthquakes, more storms, more false prophets. Because we at the end. May the most high mercy on us in these last days. Call Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Shalom, Lord willing, Yahweh Ratzai, you was edified through the Spirit. Shalom.